Hey everyone, a very warm welcome on our e-learning platform of Edwin Scientific. We believe you all are doing great. Let's begin today's session. Today's session will be on this ProtPrem tool. ProtPrem tool allow us to compute various physico-chemical properties about peptides and protein. If you are from a biochemistry background or bio, biological life sciences background, or if you are working on antigen, antibody, or protein-related biochemistry work, you know while performing a wet lab, these kind of values and parameters are very crucial for different kind of experiments like 2D, 2D gel electrophoresis, gel electrophoresis, SDS, and different kind of experiment while performing in the lab. So in this uh, tool, you can compute various parameters like molecular weight, theoretical PI, amino acid composition of a particular peptide and protein, atomic composition, half-life, instability index, aliphatic index, along with the gravy values. So protprime are very useful to compute various physico-chemical properties that can be deduced from a protein sequence or either peptide. Fine. So this is a protprime tool. This, can, this is a part of XPC. So from XPC, we have to go to this program. You can use this URL to come to this platform. Here, the protein information can either be specified or for, uh, you can get it by your SSN IDs. You can use Uniprod and Rumble SSN ID of a particular protein or either you may paste your sequence also here. Okay, so if you have your own peptide and protein sequence, then you can paste here or you provide either SSN ID and then compute your parameters. So Uniprot is a database related to a protein. It will give you a huge amount of protein related information. So suppose if you want to perform or compute the program for suppose a certain protein, this is BCL2 human protein. So you may go either to NCBI protein or you may either go to Uniprot, Uniprot database. You type it the BCL2 as a key uh, in the search section. And if you are working on human protein, then you can minimize your search for a particular organism also. And then based on that, you get the information of the sequence information because we have to paste sequence info, information in the program. So you can either get it from here. I will be explaining you Uniprot in our upcoming videos also, along with the NCBI pro, uh, protein section also. So either you get your protein sequence from NCBI protein or Uniprot first. Then this, this sequence. So if they are asking you see faster sequence, then with the header, we have to take it out. Otherwise, if they are asking for plain sequence, then we have to copy and paste these sequence information in the program. Uh, section. So I, I, if I'm not wrong, they, they are uh, asking for plain sequence only. Once you will paste your sequence and compute the parameters, these are few of the information which we are going to get. They are giving you whole amino acid detail, what kind of amino acid along with the percentage, like alanine is 27 present, how, what is the sequence length? So BCL2 is 239 amino acid. This is the theoretical PI, the molecular weight in terms of Dalton. What are the amino acid and what percentage and numbers in 239 it is present? So out of 239, alanine is 27 and 11% of the total protein. So these information are present. Then uh, its atomic composition is also present. Okay, the sequence, what we have provided here, the input sequence is also present here. So uh, if your protein forms dimer in that case or multi-dimer, then you have to paste your sequence two times and then you have to compute. And for uh, post-translational related modification, they are not providing any information like that. That property is the impact of modification, post-translation modification. They won't be giving you. But in case of dimer, if you are using two times, you have to paste your sequence. So... Uh, in the initial page, you will get these kind of information. After that, a very crucial information related to extension coefficient, your instability index, aliphatic index, and gravy, you will get. 
ओके सो एक्सटेंशन कोफिशियंट वैल्यूज indicate how much light a protein absorbs at a certain wavelength and this will be very useful while performing your purification analysis and quantification using spectrophotometer the half life values are also very important because uh, while performing a wet lab experiment the stability is very important so what the half life of your protein in a particular mammalian system or in vivo system in bacterial system they are mentioning all these things so they calculate this half life prediction based on n and rule is n terminal residue of a protein play an important role in determining its stability usually in the in vivo session so mainly the metabolite path of a protein depends on n terminal so by using the n and rules they calculate the as they calculate and estimate the half life and provide us a time interval like how stable this protein will be in the physiological condition and the in the wet lab or in the room temperature so while performing our experiment this information will be crucial for us along with this the instability index provide an estimate of the stability in vitro or during the test tube condition so protein whose instability index is less than 40 is predicted as stable while will be unstable so when you are doing a certain experiment you have to be very careful whether you have to take certain buffers or you have to perform the experiment in the cold condition and all those things so stability will uh, you have to work on that part after that this uh, aliphatic index of a protein is also very important it is defined as the relative volume occupied by the aliphatic side of the chain that is alanine valine leucine etc so it is regarded as a positive factor which increasing the thermostability of the global protein so these kind of values are also important for us which will give us idea about the stability and thermostability now a very important value is gravy this stands for grand average hydropathy the gravy value of a peptide or protein is actually calculated by the sum of hydropathy value of all the amino acids which is then divided by the number of residue in the sequences and then it is calculated here so these values you will get it from here suppose you are not pasting your id or sequence but along uh, with your full protein you want to compute the values of a certain part of your protein not the full protein that feature is also present here so if you are not pasting your sequence information in while computing then you have to provide the uniprot id either you can go for the full length or the part of this protein or customized values from the start or end also you can provide while computing the protron value or these physico chemical property so in both way either by providing the sequence or by providing the id you can compute these important values which will help you to perform your wet lab experiment related to protein biochemistry let me show you one demo here so this is the expressi protram this will look like this if you want your sequence you can either go to pro, uh, this sorry uniprot or ncbi protein as i have uh, explored the bcl sequence so from here you can go to sequence you can go to faster and this sequence you can get it from here and you can paste it here and type it out okay if you want only id of this protein then this is unique specific uniprot id for this particular protein so that also i we will show so this is for the on the basis of sequence they have given you this sequence input information our sequence total sequence its molecular weight theoretical pi and all these information what is the amino acid composition its atomic compositions extension coefficient instability values half life and all okay so i would suggest that you people can come over this platform uh, over this platform and perform this analysis for your particular protein or peptide so i hope this was your this was a learning tool and session for you please if you are liking these videos and information 
I would suggest and request you all to show these things and share these videos along uh, among your scientific community. Thank you so much.